you guys heard all the noise. The tackles aren't good enough. We don't have a number one receiver to go through all that and then win this one. How much more special does that make this one, knowing everything that was said about you guys all year? It's, it's the most special one I think I've ever ever gotten. Ever. I mean, just really? to battle through ever. that adversity yeah. and then the, to come through that and be better on the other side. Um, I oh, thought, Pat Mahomes I, can't uh, play on the road. Yeah. Right, we got we to uh, go up against the juggernaut of the MVP. Yeah. And the Baltimore I, I, I man, we heard it all, baby. All we did was just circle those wagons. I, 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 <laughs> there you go. Okay. That, fire me up, you got, baby. You got, Do you feel like the Chiefs were disrespected this year with some of the narratives and conversations we had earlier on the season? Absolutely, positively not. I think it's the ut most utterly ridiculous <laughs> thing that has ever come out of the mouth of my brother from another mother, Travis Kelsey. I don't know what he's talking about he's off his rocker and so is everybody else we chronicled what was transpired which seems more likely to return to the super bowl you think it's the eagles or the chiefs i'm going with the eagles and here's the why here's the reason why it's not beyond the realm of comprehension that we can look at patrick mahomes and the afc and we can say as great as he is those are a lot of a freaking obstacles to overcome. Do the Chiefs have enough pieces around Patrick Mahomes? I would, I'm be inclined, RC, to say no. And I'd be inclined to say no because I'm not sold on Valdez Scantlin and I need to see what Andy Reid, the great Andy Reid, the future Hall of Famer that is Andy Reid, is going to be without Eric Bieniemy. It's gotten to a point where it's embarrassing, but it I'm is. not going to just point to the offense. I'm also going to point to the organization. You might have wanted to pay Ty Tyreek Hill that money Ooh, after all. Oh. This offense is not good enough. And the days of, because Patrick Mahomes has never, ever not been able to sleep in a hotel in his That's city right. mm -hmm. for an AFC championship game. Right. That looks like it's about to change. Yep. People don't fear them anymore because that offense leaves a lot to be fearful, of, uh, not to be fearful of. Why the hell are these receivers this bad? That, there is no way around it. Everywhere you turn collectively, Guys are dropping passes. You guys know this better than me. They're not on the same page with Mahomes in terms of running routes. We've got my Patrick Mahomes right here, guys. This dude is averaging a career low 261.4 passing yards per game, which ranks ninth in the National Football League. Last year, he was at 308.8. A precipitous drop-off. Can the Chiefs win the Super Bowl with this receiving core? My God, it is bad in, San, in Kansas City. There is no way in hell you can win a Super Bowl if your receivers can't catch. Doug, I'm going to disagree with you for this one. Um, he's been waiting a long time, and the Buffalo Bills and the Bills Mafia have been waiting a long time to get Kansas City someplace away from Arrowhead Stadium. Well, they got it now, so that's high-end motivation. Being in, in Orchard Park, at, in Buffalo, with Kansas City having to come on the road, that Josh Allen's going to answer the call today, and I think that uh, he, I think he's going to be ready this weekend. I'm going to roll with Josh Allen on this. I trust Lamar more right now. Oh, Lamar has played better than every quarterback over the last five weeks, Mad Dog. So why wouldn't I trust him more going into the playoffs? It's Patrick Mahomes. It's just that it's the Baltimore Ravens. Lamar Jackson, I believe in him too. I believe this is going to be his year. I believe he's going to overcome all those odds. I think Baltimore's going to the Super Bowl. Let me be very, very clear about that. Who would you rather have Sunday, Patrick Mahomes or Lamar Jackson? On this morning, I have to say, it's Lamar Jackson. What? I have to say this. I think Lamar Jackson answers the call this Sunday, and I think he one-ups the greatness of Patrick Mahomes. I'm rolling with Lamar Jackson. What's more likely at this point, Casey one and done or Super Bowl run? One and done. They just don't have the firepower. They don't have the consistency. And he talked about the consistency. It's easy to say that, bro, we in week 16. And you still talking about consistency? At some point, maybe, okay, maybe I'll give you that in week four, week five, week eight. Bro, we two weeks from the end of the season and we're talking about consistency. They can see your offensive line isn't very good. They can see your receiving core isn't very good. And Saturday early on, I tried to explain this to you, that you can't keep trying to out-scheme people to get your wide receivers open. At some point in time, it's like an offensive line. You just got to put a hat on a hat and move somebody off the ball. I yep. can't put the Chiefs at four. They've lost four of their last six games. Yeah. They lost back. Come on. Come on, Stephen A. Okay. I don't know how. How he gave you a B plus when you put the Chiefs in, losing four of six, and I'll let you talk. And the way they lost to the Bills, right. who may not even make the playoffs. Okay. 
and you're going to take the Eagles out of the top five and okay. put the Chiefs up in there, B minus, because you bumped your head on the Chiefs. They, receivers can't catch. They can't run the same. They can't run right rights. And they line up all sides. Like, we keep saying, when are they going to fix it? They got to fix it. Bam! The <laughs> Kansas City Chiefs. Why? Because Patrick Mahomes is still alive. That's why. They ain't top four, though. Give it to me right now, please. Give it to me right here. Bam! This list is no longer fluid. Ooh. This list is factual. I What's got, up? I got the Chiefs, the Lions, the Bills, the Niners, and the Ravens in that exact order. Yep. That is an A++ grade. I didn't expect them to be, be here right. because I watched the way they played all year long. Receivers dropping passes. The offensive line, the most penalized team in football. They didn't do a great job. Patrick Mahomes wasn't paying to, playing to Patrick Mahomes' level. Official Super Bowl prediction on the record. Ten seconds. Uh, I'm going to take the 49 I'm taking my heart to 49ers. No disrespect whatsoever, but I'm sorry to call, tell everybody the truth. The